My research in the last decades has focused on the impact of viral infections and cancer. And among those, the potential for prevention that vaccines against these viruses might have. One of the most important areas of interest has been the role of human papillomavirus infections and cancer of the cervix, and eventually many other cancers that are related to the same viral types. Practical implications of these findings were essentially the development of technology to boost our screening programs by looking at the presence of the virus in addition to the presence of abnormal cells and the development of prophylactic vaccines. They both were developed in the early 2000s. They work fantastically well in the sense that it represented a major step forward both in secondary and primary prevention. And in the last decade, we were able to show that the vaccine was well accepted worldwide, that the efficacy in real world scenarios were essentially the same as in the phase three clinical trials, and that the vaccines were safe. The combination of vaccination and screening generated sufficient uh, amount of evidence so that last year, the World Health Organization called the countries of the world for an international campaign for the elimination of cervical cancer as a public health program. So that puts our cancer in the same box as we had smallpox in the past, or polio, or even measles infections. <laughs>